When I transitioned into the fellow role, I was already at UMBC and I worked in admissions. I'm also a first generation college student as well. I had worked in higher ed for about 15 years by the time I became a fellow in student affairs um, and a little bit in academic affairs. I took it at a time I was coming out of my PhD program and, you know, really excited to apply a lot of years of learning and, and years of experience in higher ed too. Tried to affect change from a faculty position that was not going well and decided that there had to be some way that I could have a bigger impact on student success than just the few students that I saw in my classroom in a year. I had spent 15 years as an academic advisor. I needed to have more of an impact. There's a lot of really important stuff that doesn't get done because it's not technically in anyone's lane. And so we wanted to create the space where you could have someone who is smart and dynamic and capable and supported with a community of practice of other people like that who are trained as change managers and facilitators. And what we've seen over time is that the fellows, because they are in somewhat of an undefined role, they have permission to do all kinds of things that you would never get to do at that stage of your career. I realize there's ways to get around the channels that are still respectful of like the corporate space and they follow the system, but there's backdoor answers to everything. And I think once I cross those two thresholds, like never take it personally and be proactive, be wily, use those back entrances, then stuff really starts to get rolling. You know, I think as we were moving various things forward in my time in the fellow, we definitely faced a lot of roadblocks. And so it taught me how to move through those roadblocks, how to find compromise in many spaces that people felt there was no compromise, um, how to meet people where they are, genuinely listen. You know, relationship building and, and building kind of bridges across campus, organizing projects and kind of energizing people. I, I was able to apply that and um, work on topics that I was really passionate about. Just be okay with the unknown. There, a lot of this work is, this is the first time that we're doing something and, and a lot of people there are very resistant to, to change, resistant to new things. So just always being able to think outside of the box, being open, open to change is something that um, this position definitely you, you have to have. <laughs>